My 11th Circle presents Crick Buzz Live in association with the Weather Channel. It's the last one day international. And then, of course, we head into the first test matches, which will be part of the World Test Championship. There's, there's lots happening. And the immediate news, the West Indies will bat first. Very interesting couple of changes in the West Indies side. They've gone without their two key strike bowlers. In, uh, in, in Sheldon Cottrell and O'Shea and Thomas. India have made that one change as well. Now, this is what it is. Who's, who's going to be bowling for the West Indies today? Kima Roach, who will take the new ball? Jason Holder will have to take the new ball. Then Kimo Paul, two spinners, Fabian Allen, Roston Chase, Carlos Brathwaite. It looks a little thinner. Akash, then... Uh, oh, I didn't introduce them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Don't worry, you know it's going to be Akash and, <laughs> Akash and Zach anyway. Yeah, he's taking the new ball. I'm, I'm opening the batting. Okay. Uh, and and, and I, I actually feel, uh, yes, while it looks a little weak, uh, maybe therein lies an opportunity to do something different when they come out to bowl, that is. Yeah. Of course, they've won an important toss. They're going to bat first. First time in this uh, uh, entire series, in fact, white ball cricket, T20s and one days, they're get, getting to do what they actually wanted to do. Uh, so, we'll see how they come out. Uh, uh, but it is an opportunity to actually start with the Austin Chase, maybe. S start with spin. Uh, forget about Ocean Thomas and Sheldon Cottrell. Cottrell wasn't available. Uh, and uh, Shikhar has had his issues against uh, Offies okay. with the new ball. Uh, Chase actually dismissed uh, Rohit Sharma in the previous inning as well. So, maybe. But before Rohit that, put runs on the Rohit struggled a little bit against Mujib as well. But, you know, for some of you of a sense of history, and I know we are going back too long back, to see a West Indies team open with a spinner, is <laughs> <laughs> times have changed. Yeah. You should is, have Michael. Is, is it going to happen? I I I, I still doubt though. Yeah. yeah. I think uh, they'll they'll stick to uh, Jason Holder opening the innings uh, with with the new ball when when they'll be bowling. But I think the the key for them is going to be the runs on board. You know, with uh, with any uh, for any captain, you know, winning the toss uh, and and then batting first, you have to make sure that you you do that, uh, make use of that uh, 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 that toss and 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 go out there and uh, and and put runs on board. If if West Indies is able to do that, then uh, you know you are uh, yeah. you will you will see some kind of contest and they can still level the series. So I think you know that's something which which, which they should have uh, a lookout for and you know have that positive approach. And the most predictable change of all in the Indian side. You could have predicted that any time you wanted, really. You've, you had to give Yajwain the Chahal a game. He's, he's gone all the way there, didn't, didn't get a game, he's not in the test squad. He was only there for the three one day. So Chahal comes in for Kuldeep. If there had been two more games, then Kuldeep would have come in for Chahal. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Chahal actually was busy uh, shooting for Chahal TV. I heard quite a bit of him and saw a bit of him. Um, of course, not with the ball in hand. And uh, we were expecting a change like this. I was also hoping that they'll figure out a way to get uh, Navdeep Saini a game as well. Because he was that uh, shining star in the three T20Is. I personally feel, and we've uh, said this on this show many times, that uh, longer the format, the better it might just be for Navdeep Saini for his growth as a bowler. He's not a part of the test squad either. Yeah. Uh, so maybe why not give him an opportunity as well? India can't lose this series. India can only win. Uh, uh, West Indies can only draw this series. So uh, that's that's my, my slight disappointment. My wish list uh, had one more box to be ticked, which was uh, Navdeep Saini getting another game. Now, could, there could be a reason, Zach, that uh, in India have gone back to Chehel over Kuldeep. Because in, the, in, in recent times, Kuldeep's effectiveness has tended to drop off a little. Now, look at 2017-18. Kuldeep Yadav had his peak. He was picking up the ball. He was getting two wickets per game, which is, which is fantastic. He was taking a wicket every four overs. Economy rate of 4.73. Brilliant. Even now, 20 matches, 29. One and a half wickets per game is not bad. Economy rate of 5.31. But in comparison to what was... He was taking wicket every four overs and a bit. He's now taking wicket every six overs. So, is he just tapering off a little bit? I think, you know, this is just... Uh a nature of of cricket, I think. You know, as as you play more and more cricket, you know, people uh, uh, people tend to figure things out, and and they, you have to keep reinventing yourself. So I think I think Kuldeep right now is going through that phase, uh, particularly in this year. What has happened? You uh, it started with I think Australia series when yes. when they when they started to use uh, uh, batsmen started to use their feet to him, and 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 then you know he was uh, he was feeling that pressure. So I think the time has come, you know, where where Kuldeep have to uh, have to figure it out. You know, it's, it's just marginal. If you look at those numbers, you know the, his numbers are still very good. So he's, he's still making that impact. It's just that uh, that batsmen are, are figuring out a 
way of putting him under pressure and that's something which which he'll have to figure out uh, af after looking at the world cup performance you would have expected chahel to start uh, the, the yeah. series that has not happened uh, it was a pure tactical call uh, maybe with uh, too many left handers in in west indies uh, batting lineup uh, got him a nod uh, to uh, to play in the playing 11 uh, but i think going forward kuldeep will have to uh, have to add a thing or two in terms of uh, of of bringing in that just slight edge right now when you know batsman is 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 looking to use their feet yeah. some some batsmen are are looking to play that uh, sweep shot which is uh, which has been uh, used effectively against him so that is something which which he'll have to uh, uh, he'll have to now add uh, figure out a way and as soon as you get few wickets with that suddenly the pressure is again on 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 batsman to uh, to answer that so i think you know what kuldeep needs to do is add that just fraction a bit extra uh, uh, revs on the ball or speed through the air which will uh, which will help him uh, put that pressure back on in terms of using uh, the yeah. feet from the back so that just just to add yeah. to what uh, zahir is saying harsha is that uh, 2019 india has been away uh, it's only yeah. one series at home uh, so kuldeep was outstanding when team was playing at home kuldeep is now travelling and uh, numbers have tapered off a little uh, but completely agree that they're not bad from any stretch of imagination they're fairly good numbers uh, and uh, wherever you can play both uh, wristies together you should uh, if hardik was available maybe that would have happened any which way because you want to have them uh, in the mix uh, pick wickets in the middle overs uh, but kuldeep like he rightly mentioned uh, revs on the ball that non bowling arm i think uh, has to come down a lot straighter it's still falling away and uh, that doesn't allow the body to go behind the ball as much and nazair would know a lot better than i do uh, but i think uh, that's one thing that uh, comes to my mind that sometimes the non bowling arm is more important than the bowling arm and in his case it just falls away they had left out kuldeep so maybe the thinking is you know he starts a series where he doesn't end it well so let's start with <laughs> kuldeep and and let's end with uh, let's let's end with chahal the other the other reason could also be that n since none of the bowlers bat if you have to play both of them and in in this case because bumrah is not here and you have to play bumrah and shami then your tail becomes too long so one of the bowlers has to bat and apart from bhuvi who hasn't had too many opportunities and his batting has tapered off a little none of the bowlers are batting that has been uh, the story for the longest time and so jadeja has and, to and play, play and so only one reason yes the, the skeleton is, is is pretty much set for the team uh, in terms of playing 11 they want that uh, that one bowler who can uh, bat a bit at, uh, at at number 7 position and that has been the thought process and that's one of the main reasons kuldeep and chahal have not been playing together uh, lately you know they've uh, they've had that impact uh, when uh, uh, when hardik was there you know so that just shifts that balance in terms of adding that all rounder and 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 possibly when bhuvi is playing so bhuvi can bat a bit so that uh, that adds uh, to that batting depth which uh, which which indian team has been concerned uh, sometimes you you wonder why they are so concerned exactly. because you have uh, yeah. power packed top uh, top order which which will deliver consistently but uh, you know I that still the cushion they they that need that cushion to be expressing yeah. themselves in part the reason was they were not trusting 4 5 6 enough and but, i think but, that's but, why but, it was but, going but, down to but 7 but still yeah. honestly speaking uh, you if, still pick up best bowlers you are going to pick bhuvi for his batting ability they are in trouble no there is huge trouble <laughs> and, and and we've seen that uh, 240 india had to chase just 240 yes i know i'm going back to one single incident that happened in uh, in manchester not too long ago You you played as many as what eight or nine batsmen. So Bhuvi was actually slated to bat at eight or nine. You had Jadeja, you had Hardik, you had Dinesh Karthik. So a long batting lineup. Uh, it didn't work. It just does not help. There's only one sizable innings, noticeable innings uh, that Bhuvi has played uh, with the bat in his entire career. His bowling is actually doing well. He's been picking wickets. Uh, but as a batsman, just one innings come to, comes to your mind. That's Nidhar's trophy. Um, that uh, innings with. Mahendra Singh MS. Dhoni, yeah, but other than that, and even there, uh, you were chasing a very small total, uh, and you had a, a collapse of sorts. So don't pick Bhuvi for his batting abilities. If you are worried about him or his batting, uh, then pick your batting order uh, more judiciously. Yeah, Invest there. That, yeah. You're looking at the barking at the wrong tree. Remember that day? I think it was the day after Akhila Dhananjay got married, and instead of going on a honeymoon, he came in and played cricket and picked <laughs> up six wickets. He's taken five today as well. He's taken all all, all the yeah. five wickets that have fallen today. Why they don't pick Dhananjay? I don't know. But then I don't understand. I don't understand many things <laughs> anyway. What I do understand is to tell you how you can pick your team. So remember, we are on uh, my eleven circle. So you can go down to the website my eleven circle dot com, download the app, and then pick your team. And remember, if you can do better than Dada. Dada ka vada, you'll get three times the uh, three times more cash. So that's the way to go about it. 
Last pictures coming in from uh, from Port of Spain suggested the weather was fine. There are some forecast for for rain about. That would have been a terrible day. No play in, <laughs> no play in the Test match at Lords. Rain has stopped though. Uh, rain has stopped now. Uh, hopefully, finally, hopefully there'll be some game. Uh, rain held up play in, in Sri Lanka, but uh, let, let's see what it is like. Remember, this this comes to you in association with the Weather Channel, the most downloaded weather app. Now that has changed significantly. The chance of rain right at the bottom, eight percent, has changed significantly. It was much more yesterday and this morning, so that's fantastic news. Chance of rain eight percent, then a little bit of rain in the afternoon, and then again clearing up in the evening. So that is uh, much better news than it was some some time ago. Now, this, of course, is the last one there of, uh, of this series, the last of the white ball games. Then India go into the test matches. Then while the test matches are being played in the West Indies, there's some very important appointments sought to be made here in India, which is, of course, the appointment of the coach and the appointment of the, of the support staff. Now, normally, you appoint a coach and then sit with the coach and pick the support staff. This time, the support staff is going to be picked by the selectors and the coach is going to be picked by a... CAC, CO, uh, there's lots C of C's in it. C uh, okay, okay, CAC. <laughs> you know, you were in a CAC in yes. Delhi, weren't you? So, uh, and cricket and advisory committee. Right? There was a time when the cricket advisory committee was Tendulkar, Ganguly, oh, and, and, and Lakshman. Lakshman. Now it is Kapil Dev, Anshuman Gaikwad, Shantaranga Swami. They're going to pick the coach. There's six candidates. Uh, there are six candidates, yes. Uh, three overseas, three Indians. Uh, there are decent names when you look at Tom Moody, you look at Mike Hessen. Tom Moody has got a formidable coaching record, uh, or whether it was with Sri Lanka or, uh, uh, or uh, uh, with the Sunrise Hyderabad. Yeah. Ravi Shastri, uh, see, Ravi obviously started as a team director. He stepped in to, to actually uh, just, just manage the ship when it was uh, uh, going uh, haywire. Uh, that was Duncan Fletcher's going out, I think, mm. if I remember correctly. Uh, he came in, uh, then he stepped up and became, became, became the head coach. We have discussed that uh, captain likes him. Uh, uh, what the team says, uh, uh, we, we are not yeah. privy to that. Captain is the only right. one who's voiced his opinion. Uh, yeah, Tom Moody, vastly uh, experienced. See, the, he was there last time as well. Uh, he actually applied last time also. Uh, and there was Richard Pibers, there was Virendra Sehwag in that list as well. And uh, if they were to pick an overseas coach, I think there is a lot of reservation. That's what I felt last time around as well. That uh, they don't really want to go the overseas way. They want an Indian coach and therefore it was Ravi last time around. Uh, if that's the case this time, then uh, Moody may not have a chance. But if you are looking for an overseas coach, Moody and Hessen pick one. I, yeah. I actually won't Because Because he, he, um, uh, uh, Tom was in there. There's, there's Lalchand Rajput who's been in Mumbai. He's been in Zimbabwe. He's been with... Not that he's in Afghanistan. So, six coaches are the, are the shortlisted... Uh, six shortlisted in the shortlist, yes. Yeah. So, the so Lalchand Rajput uh, is in that as well. Hmm. Yeah. La, 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 Lalu's in the shortlist as well. Uh, so, so is Mike Hessen. Now, it's interesting that Mike Hessen gave up the coaching job in New Zealand because there's too much travel and he was away for too long. <laughs> now, if his base is India, he'll struggle, but... He's he just he's just quit as coach of Kings Eleven, so he maybe got he changed his home. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> who knows? He's close to his home. <laughs> That's true. He was in the Star Studios for a long time, <laughs> yeah. so he's he's been here for a while. Brendan McCullum has said he's the best coach that New Zealand ever had. Okay, there you go. Then Phil Simmons, he's been everywhere. Phil Simmons has been West Indies, Ireland, and Afghanistan. Afghanistan. And I think the departure from Afghanistan was not the happiest. And ceremonious. Uh, so he's is is part of a complete. There's been a giant anti-coach broom that swept uh, world cricket. So, so there's there's Phil Simmons, big Phil Simmons, dare I say, uh, and uh, of course Ravi is that that we talked about. So, what what's so uh, you, so you, yeah, I mean, you've had overseas coaches largely in in your playing time, haven't you? Yes, John Wright, uh, Greg Chappell, uh, Gary yeah, Kirsten. Gary Kirsten. Yeah, so, so, so plenty of them. But that that uh, shift has happened now. You know, so so basically, uh, you know, predominantly uh, uh, BCCI has been looking at uh, at having Indian coaches and having. Uh, uh, is, that, is there a difference? Does it make a difference? Uh, no, a, a good coach is a good coach. I think uh, you know that's uh, that, that's something has to be uh, the the base thinking. You know, so 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 I'm I'm sure right now also the approach is is pretty much on 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 the similar lines. But uh, but every time uh, a, a coach's uh, selection has uh, has made. Uh, you know, you, uh, you you get the team involved as well. You know, not not formally, but uh, but informally, you need to ask uh, ask certain players. Yeah. You know, some uh, certain players who have been part of the team for uh, for pretty much uh, uh, all around the year. It's it's, it's good to just you know uh, take their opinion you know, and and some kind of feedback. Uh, we are talking about appraisal. I'd be very surprised you know, so if, that, uh, uh, if some of the senior players weren't asked. 
No, I'm. Uh, it's it's always the case. Yes. You know, so 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 that that process uh, does happen. So we'll have to wait and see. You know, which which direction uh, the wind is going to blow <laughs> this time around. Uh, I, I I still feel that I think they will continue with uh, with uh, Ravi Shastri at least mm. till T uh, Twenty World Cup because it's it's just about ten eleven months uh, away. Yeah. Uh, it it should be fair as well because you know the 10 11 months is, is too short a time for anyone uh, to uh, to come in and 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 change things around uh, before uh, the, the the big tournament so i think that uh, that should be the approach uh, we'll have to wait and see you know whether the the, the coach's contract is going to be for uh, Few years till next World Cup, or 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 they're just gonna uh, take it a year. Uh, it could well extend. Uh, that's what I've been reading till the end of the 2021 World T20 in India, which oh, leaves it, you. It could be for two years then. What which you're leaves saying. you two years before the next World Cup. Oh, okay. So, oh, see, where, wherever it also goes. Also, 2021 sir, is the end of the World Test Championship, sir. We we shall find out in good time. Uh, but I do have one uh, solid problem with the entire process. Uh, uh, CAC is appointed. Uh, they've gone through, I think, 2,000 applicants and they've uh, shortlisted six, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm three very overseas. keen to know who the 2,000 How many, how many applicants? 2,000. <laughs> Everybody can apply, Zach. There is, there is no criterion as such. If you're a coach, you can apply. So there are 2,000 okay. people who think they can add value to Indian cricket, which is absolutely okay. Is it a record of sorts? Me, still yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000. Are you serious? There are, are there enough coaches <laughs> in the country? Uh, but then, uh, okay, six, three overseas, three Indians. Uh, let's We shall find out where, where they actually go. Our hunches that uh, it may be Ravi to continue with. Uh, but if they're good enough to pick a head coach, why do you need the selectors to pick the support staff? It's That's the other beyond thing I to ask both is. of you. you. You've been in Indian teams. There's, been a, there's, the, there's a coach. Now, the coach works very closely with the support staff, right? So, should the support staff be picked by the coach? Should the support staff be picked independently of the coach? He should have some kind of say in the whole process for sure, you know, yeah. because uh, because for for any coach it's important to have uh, the uh, the support system around him, yes. which uh, which is in sync or in line with his thought it's process, you know. So if if you have uh, people going in different direction in in uh, on that platform, then then it's it is going to have repercussions uh, filtering down to the team, and 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 you don't want that, you know. So so any uh, it it has to be working together as a team, and when a team is going in different direction and it, it never really helps. So I think uh, some kind of a say is important that uh, that the coach should have because he's he's captain of that ship and then he needs his... Uh, and yet his, the coach has to be answerable. So there has to be okay. someone checking out of the coach speaking the right people. Uh, exactly. And uh, now he may not want to actually get involved in that conversation but uh, something did happen last time around. Uh, there, there was... We were all there. So <laughs> we were all in the West There, there was yeah. a recommendation yeah. and uh, eventually nothing came out of it. Uh, Zaheer yeah. has not spent, I think, even 24 hours with this team uh, where uh, he was supposed to be the bowling consultant. Uh, and uh, Rahul Dravid hasn't uh, been uh, consulted either uh, in the batting consultant uh, ca capacity. And uh, I, I felt that uh, it didn't really work out that well. Personally, I've, I've got this personal grouse uh, that when you picked a coach, you also picked a couple of more people. And I expect uh, Saurav, uh, VVS and Sachin uh, to have that kind of acumen to, uh, to decide, to justify what they were trying to suggest. And if you can't follow it up, then you make a mockery of the entire process. I really hope that doesn't happen this time around. What I'd also like to see is the appointment of the support staff happening after the coach has been appointed. Okay. So you can actually ask the new coach, what are your thoughts? Who are you comfortable working with? And then assess independently too. Yeah, correct. So, so both things uh, need to be taken into account. Would you it like the idea of selectors picking coaches? Why do they have to? I can't understand. For the life of me, they are there to pick players. So you pick players. And they you, spend you, a lot of time watching players, exactly, so whatever. You travel the length and the breadth of the country and you've uh, gone on India tours, India tours. So you know your cricketers inside out. How much do you know about the coaches and why do you even need to know about the coaches when you're talking about the international team? Yeah. Uh, there is no rhyme or reason for them to appoint the coaches. I've seen the wordings in the Lodha committee recommendations. That's what happened with us as well when we were uh, in the CAC of uh, uh, DDCA. And, and we just couldn't understand what's exactly the... the the fuss about. If you're good enough to pick uh, the selectors or uh, uh, the head coach, we should be good enough to pick the support yeah. staff as well. Yeah, who should pick? provide him uh, with the yeah. right support staff. Who, who should pick the support staff? 
the people who are uh, selecting the coach should be the ones who who are uh, who are in position to select uh, the support staff as well and i think it it has to be done in consultation with the coach you know so that is uh, uh, the most sensible thing to do uh, so there has to be some kind of reason and and some thought process has uh, has certainly uh, come up from some corners <laughs> for for them to take this different route you know maybe they uh, that they don't want uh, some kind of bias coming into play and uh, they don't really want uh, coach to be uh, selecting the support staff i mean that's the feeling i'm getting from uh, uh, from just looking at the way whole process is handled it's nice isn't it here on cricket buzz live we're able to get everyone's opinion on wide range of issues and we're going to move on to another issue which is the start of the test uh, uh, test series it's only two test matches but it's also the start of the world test championship from india's point of view that is the first of those has already been played between england and australia but the last time india played a test match that was the 7th of january in sydney we are now going to be heading into end of august so seven months there hasn't been a single test match be interesting to see how much the test regulars as they are called we now tend to have different sides how much first class cricket have they played now ajinkya rahane went across he played some games for hampshire then uh, ravichandra nashwin played three games i think for nottinghamshire he got 23 wickets by the he was player of the month in in english county cricket but pujara has played three matches that's it in right. in seven months, Mayank so Agarwal is four. Ishan Sharma nothing at all. Ridhiman Saha two years injured. Umesh Yadav has played a bit of Ranji Trophy cricket, I think. Is that is that enough? Would you have wanted them to have played a little bit more? Maybe gone on an A tour, maybe. Umesh well, it, went on the it, A tour, I think. It, uh, for bowlers, it means fresh legs. <laughs> you know, yeah. if, if you've trained uh, enough, it's, it's also an opportunity because uh, if if you look at the international uh, scheduling, it's 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 quite hectic, you know. So so at times this kind of break does help. You've seen uh, Bumra also have been rested now from uh, after the World Cup uh, to be uh, to be ready and 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 fresh for for the Test series. India will be playing about nine uh, Test matches uh, leading up till. Uh, IPL so so till march they will be playing nine test matches so i think you know and and you have uh, test match specialists of sorts uh, uh, except for bumrah you know ishan sharma just uh, plays uh, test matches you know so i think he he will be uh, someone who is very keen having uh, uh, not played but, but experience enough yeah it doesn't matter right? enough to to prepare for yeah. uh, the, the the test series it's about just getting used to bowling those 20 overs in a day isn't it and, and making sure that you are uh, you are ready uh, for, for the for the next day i think that's the vital part of 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 playing okay, uh, days yeah. cricket let's get that graphic for, up for, again for, for the, the bats bowlers, it's fine yeah uh, for batsmen yeah let's put that graphic yeah, up for the batsmen there's correct. one name that that stands out there rahan has played a bit mayank yeah. agarwal hanuma vihari went out uh, on the on the a tour jiteshwar pujara has not even played the ipl and so, and his three first class games are with saurashtra i think uh, yes. quarter final semi final finals so uh, so since then he's played only 6 t20is and that's not the ipl that's the domestic t20 domestic t20 uh, said mushtaq <laughs> he got runs there he always gets runs in yeah. domestic but, limited but over. he's not played cricket at, at all. all and my right. only concern is when you're a one format player it's a two test match series it's it's very difficult to hit the ground running any which way uh, even if you were playing first class cricket uh, this is an upgrade of sorts uh, you're going to a different country you don't know the conditions uh, and and you just land up there uh, and you're expected to score runs it may or may not happen uh, so pujara i'll be i'll be slightly concerned about it's a three day game though he, hopefully he'll get a so he'll get a he'll get a gig he'll get some runs and and get into some flow but it can take some time for you to get back into the groove of scoring runs at international cricket so that's that's just the only thing uh, Rani has played a bit. Uh, for others, I think they'll be fine. Uh, for Pujara, I'm um, just a wee bit concerned. Rani played a little bit. He started. He started off really well. Seven matches, average 23 though. That's a worry. He started with a century, and then the runs just dried up. Is there is there a is there a problem? All of us like Ajinkya Rani as a batsman. I don't think anyone doesn't like Rani the batsman. Okay, so two years without a century. Correct. Two is, years. Is is there a concern there? uh well the pressure is on him for sure you know there's no doubt about it because uh, someone like rohit sharma also will be uh, will be putting that extra pressure yeah. uh, anuma bihari uh, is scoring looking, runs yeah, so 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 it's suman gill uh, for for any batsman you know it's, it's it's always about going out there and 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 performing so yes from that point of view for ajinkya rahane this this series is going to be very vital series uh, is he, he would not think too much about what happened in in uh, in the county season because it's completely different conditions i think you know uh, yeah. west indies conditions are more like subcontinent conditions with that regard so so he'll have that uh, sometimes happen extra time that you're trying too hard to be an all format player and so you're getting a little stuck in between can that happen to batsmen 
It can happen to batsmen, yes. And uh, is it happening to Rahane? Do you he's, he's also he's also someone who's uh, uh, playing the IPL. It's not that he's just playing uh, uh, Test match yeah. cricket and no other cricket whatsoever. Uh, he does uh, turn up for Rajasthan Royals. He did score a century also, if I remember correctly, last season. Uh, and and so so you expect him to uh, keep uh, himself fit and available, or rather not fit and available, uh, but uh, his his batting to be fit enough to just fit into all formats. That's what he's constantly trying. He also voices his opinion about, uh, or rather disappointment about not being a part of the one-day setup. Uh, he thought that he, he deserved, he merited a place. Uh, some would actually agree with that as well. Uh, so there is a possibility, but that in the end, uh, see, Rahane will have to understand that uh, one day cricket may or may not happen. T20 okay. cricket definitely not happening for Team India. Uh, so, you need to now focus on what uh, you were excellent at. And uh, he's got those two years without uh, scoring a single century because before that he was outstanding. So, you expect okay. him we'll to wait and see. There's also talk of a trade. There's also talk of a trade Easy. from Rajasthan Royals to Delhi Capitals. We'll talk about that as we go along. So, Rajasthan Royals to Delhi Capitals, who knows? Now, the West Indies have uh, won the toss. The West Indies are batting. It's time for our My 11th Circle expert couch because play is about to get underway amidst gathering clouds. <laughs> but at the moment, there's no rain. What do you think? <laughs> a bit of rain. Uh, Duckworth Lewis no, 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 method no, no, coming no, no, into the picture. No, 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 no. <laughs> expert it's a good, couch. good prediction. Expert couch. Couch is the West Indies will make? West Indies will make uh, 259. 59. So he's, he's from the last innings he's added. No, I know, okay. I know how Akash's <laughs> mind works. <laughs> like they fell short by 60 runs of India's total, so they'll possibly add. <laughs> That's how it works. Okay, he's 239. I think uh, 270. 270. Okay, I'm going under actually. I'm going 230. Oh, Shall okay. I'm going 230. Let's see. Okay, time for the joy factor as well. I, I hope joy has made a really tough one today. Time for the joy factor. Here it is. In 1990. Who made his test debut in a game where another became the youngest ever to make a test century for his country? Okay, So, somebody became the youngest ever to make a test century for his country in 1990. Who made his test debut in that game? My gut feel is, remember to send in your replies quickly with hashtag CrickBuzzLive. My gut feel is before I say hashtag CrickBuzzLive, there's an answer coming in, but we'll wait and see. Joy is in a good mood today, he said, he said a slightly simple one. So, we'll come back to you in the 15th over with, uh, with CrickBuzz Combox and then again in the 35th, we'll see how it is. Hopefully, the rain will stay away and we'll get some good cricket. I hope you enjoyed that conversation on things other than the build-up to the last one-day international Akash Chopra, Zaheer Khan. Let's join the action. Back with you in the 15th over.